Oh my stars. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Influenced Opinions, another episode. Uh, today, I got both of my guests, and my guests are here. We're going to be <coughs> talking about financial literacy. My first guest, I got to introduce the young lady of the hour, Miss Nicole. Miss Nicole, please introduce yourself to the people that are listening and watching this video. I am Nicole, aka Nick, aka Bougie Betty. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of influenced opinions, right? Because I've had a lot of different experiences. I'm not to be put in any kind of box or category. So I got some things that I want to just put out to the people and see see what it do. Right, right. Okay. So before we get into this, let me introduce my next guest, my man from the block. My man, Corey. Go ahead, Corey, if you got something to say to the people, you know. <clears throat> well, I'm uh, Corey. Uh, you probably, you know, you have me more on this on this show. As Definitely. We, as we get further on and uh, more and more topics and more people. I'm just happy to be here. My man. Look forward to, Many to giving, more. giving you my influenced opinions. Lord knows I got a lot of them. Right, right. You know, so mm. let's see what we can do. All day. All right, so basically... With financial literacy, it is a lot of different angles we can take on it. You know, basically, my thing is, it was one of those things how we were all discussing before we did the show. A lot of times, we don't want to place blame on our parents, but a lot of times we look back and say to ourselves, what did we learn on our own as far as dealing with finances compared to what our parents taught us? You know, we're not saying that they did a horrible job, but what we're saying is, is that sometimes, I guess, within other cultures, from what I see, it seems as if their parents may introduce them to certain things, whereas though within our culture, we may not. And that's just my influenced opinion. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but enlighten me, you know? You well, want to go first, Nicole? I'll go first. Go With my... um. My my influenced opinion is basically exposure. It, you've been all around the country. You've been different places. So you saw something outside of your direct environment. Right. So once you had these different experiences, you had experience to bring back. You've been around different cultures. You integrate with different cultures a lot and you mingle with them socially. You mingle with them in their house and in their culture and how they do things. So it opens your mind up to different things and different possibilities. Right. But in our community and our culture, we can't necessarily say it's the parents' fault because it's not the parents' fault. It's exposure. So if the parents haven't been exposed, then the parents can't expose. Right. Because the things that I've learned since my life, um, I have two kids and I have an 18 year old and I have a four year old and I parent them differently. Mm -hmm. The way I parented the 18 year old, I didn't have any information. I didn't have any knowledge. I was just telling him just the bare minimum. Don't go out there and embarrass your household. Don't embarrass yourself. Don't embarrass your culture. And we're Christians. Don't be an embarrassment to a, to a Christian. Right. So. And he would do something, I would give him a beating. With my daughter, I try to talk to her. I try to expose her to different languages and expose her to financial literacy. She's four years old and she needs to know this is a quarter. Because one of the bare minimum things is people don't respect money. Right. They don't understand that it's a different thing if you have a dollar and if you have a credit card. If you have a dollar, it lets you spend only a dollar. Right. 99 cent a dollar, that's all you can spend if you got a credit card and it costs 104 you could pay it right because you got the credit card and so do, do your, your restriction is kind of taken away your limitation is kind of taken away by giving you that credit card so I would just say it's not the parents fault it's not the grandparents fault it's not the church it's not the school it's all uh, uh, encompassing your exposure right. So you're exposed to different things Through the course of your life Wherever you, If you've been to school You got some things from school If you've been to work You got things from work If mm -hmm. you was in the ROTC If you was in Boy Scouts Whatever your life's experiences make up That creates your exposure How do you, you feel, Corey? I agree with a lot of what Nicole said 
Um, my influenced opinion about the matter is <clears throat> I think it has a lot to do with black people's mentality. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, besides drug dealers and things like that, mm -hmm. it was unheard of for black people to get money. You know, mm -hmm. you got certain, your, your Frederick Douglasses and things like that back in the day. But as far as our parents knew, you know, your, if your parents are 60, 70 plus, they knew how to make money for the white man. Right. No that was, and, and to, and, and, and black people are so given is that, you know, we give, a, we give a lot of money. We never respected money as to where we have to now because you need it so much, you gotta respect it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. The dealings with money and being, and, and being in the right place with money is just, it's something that black people as a majority is just now starting to wrap their hands around. Right. You know what I mean? I, some of our parents were seeing it, but our parents was just trying to make it. Get right. get the money, go get a job, get benefits, do this, that, and the third. It was only a few black people in the 80s and 90s, jokers like your Rachel Edmonds that had the hustler mentality. Right. You know what I mean? Not to go work for this white man. Black people, we just now really starting to make these businesses. Oh, no question. And do the thing because we're just now starting to see. And we're starting to that, understand. About, right. That you know. United States in any way is, is a hustler state. Right. You know what I mean? White man flipping money so many different ways. Illegal, but all he's doing is flipping money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it, keeping those opportunities away from black people. And we so... We so hoodwinked that we don't find the loopholes and do the necessary. We just give up so easy right. and just go work for the white man. No like, it's easier. Right. No, because you know being what I'm saying? Working it's, it, is always easy. It's the know? mentality we're used to. We got to stop thinking inside that box. Right. You know what I'm saying? As far as when it comes to getting money. Right. The reason is why you're getting money, of course, they should be, you know, they should be known to everybody. Of course, you need to feed your family and, and have the things you need to, to, to live and take care of yourself out here. Matter of fact, let me stop you because mm -hmm. I know we've had conversations about this. And I know both of y'all will feel a certain way about this. Like how you say, the necessities of having money. A lot of times, definitely within our culture, we feel as though... Once we get a taste of some money, <laughs> we have to get certain certain luxuries. objects, certain luxuries, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, that's how our finances get out of whack. Completely. You have depreciating assets and you have appreciating assets. Soon as you get in the car and, and drive off the lot, it starts depreciating. And then you have appreciating assets like coins or valuable baseball cards stocks. or whatever it is stocks, stocks and bonds, bonds and things right. like that so what we need to do is start looking at things that appreciate but it's certain bare minimum basics that a lot of black people don't have and i love black people i do but the reason that they fell victim to, the, to right. the housing scam is because Black people got more common sense than anybody I know. Right. We know stuff. So I didn't know anything about the housing scam, but if you tell me that this is what it costs right now and then later on it's going to balloon, what do balloons do? They inflate. Right. So if this is what it is now, inflation is going to bring it up. So you take a $600 mortgage and turn it into a $3,600 mortgage. You don't need to understand the fine print mm -hmm. to understand that, hey, this so is probably right. going to be shaky. Right. But so many people fell into that. And you can't go with the smoke and mirrors and the smiles and the handshakes because they not living in the house. Right. They not going to work. They not driving for Uber and doing all the other stuff that you have to do to make up the difference. Right. So because That's black people are so smart, I don't under I still don't understand. I'm not judging nobody or nothing like that. Right. But how did you let yourself do that? Because if I came home and told one of my friends this is what I'm about to do, they or told my mother, no, don't do that. Yeah. No, no, no. Right. Well, I, I I agree. I agree once again. You know. And it's, I still got to bring it back to the mentality. Right. Black people have this subconscious thinking of they have to prove to whoever. Somebody. This somebody, imaginary person. Because you know, we're not like. Especially. The, anyway. Especially, we're not like in our culture or out of our culture. So that's who we have to prove it to. Especially to the black Christian. I'm, I, I'm a Christian. I'm not a religious Christian. Right. I like to. 
I like to use this time to separate religious Christian from just a... I don't believe in religious Christians because they fake and right. fugazi. So we got that, we got that on the table. It ain't no this ain't no church you know Mm-mm. thing. Right. right to the to the you know to the black Christian, we have to we we have to get out of the mentality that we have that they were owed or we owe somebody something. Our parents owe us until we're a certain age. Right. They owe us to teach us to you know give us the necessary tools. That we need to make it out here in this world. After that, they done their job. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's their job. Of course, our parents we love. They hope you know they hold on to us. They buy us college, graduate college, and this, that, and the third. Make no mistake about it. They don't owe you that. Right. You know, it's time for us to start giving back to our parents. You know right. what I'm saying? And and get out of the mentality that you have to prove to everybody. Stop being so selfish. Right. Stop being so independent. You know what I mean? We when they took this independence word and, and it stretched it out now. You don't even realize that independence only breeds selfishness, right? Because you're so you so you so pressed to hold on and show everybody I did it myself. Right. It's mine. You right. know what I mean? You don't you don't see that part. You know what I'm saying? So the mentality that we have that we've been had have been passed down, passed down, passed down. We got to break these cycles. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you have we have to be the ones to do it and and and, and pass on this knowledge as opposed to loving hip hop. And and, and 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 this bullshit we watch on TV. I don't know. We're gonna beat that out, but right. whatever. It's all nah, good. You're good. You know? You're good. But it's it, it's it's slave mentality in a nutshell, man. In a nutshell, no question. You, know, you don't have nothing to prove except for to the, your father, and I mean God. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's within you. That's between you and him. So out here trying to prove to your mom or this, that, and the third, you you you're setting yourself up for failure. This is a world that don't play no games, especially if you live in the DMV. You know what I mean? This ain't the area you want to be in here messing around, and because you can ruin your life early out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Will you this ain't this ain't the dirty drunk. south where you can get pulled over by a country ass cop that know everybody in the town and let you, you know, you take you home. You go out here, you get pulled over for some dumb DUI, and then the rest of your life could be some problems. I'm not right. saying it will be, but it could be. Right. Some dumb stuff out here can mess you up. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what they want to do. That's why they keep bringing down prices of TVs and making them bigger. They want to keep your mind off the real life. They damn near giving you TVs. You buy a phone, they give you an iPad to go with it. Here goes something else to keep your mind off of the real shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right, so basically, what y'all <clears throat> can y'all both agree to say that with the way how society is today, it kind of uh, influences you to make these decisions to kind of like attract you, like the smoke and mirrors. It kind of attracts you to this, 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 this other, I don't know, fantasy or other object that. Takes your attention off of what you really need to it's be It's a distraction. Right. That's what it is. It's right. a distraction. But I want to say something about that and this. Um, in our communities, they, they, and when I say that, we all know who the day is. I don't need to say who they are. Right. But they will set up our community where we have a barber shop, a hair, a hair salon, a nail shop, a laundromat, a liquor store, and maybe a shoe store, and maybe a rainbow or something. You don't need to go to the mall. Everything you got is right here. It's a check cash in place so you can play the numbers. It's a little lounge right there. Everything you need to do is two step right here, and that goes back to exposure. You won't be exposed because everything you have is right here. You got something that's mm-hmm. coming up, you go to the local shoe store, you go to the local barber shop, you go to the local rainbow or TJ Maxx, and that's all you need to do. But as far as experiences, um, and he was saying that experiences wouldn't let our parents do anything because all they had to do was survive. And like I said before, we are not called to survive. We're called to succeed. So we can't keep resting on the excuses. We know they didn't know nothing. We know they tried to get by. But what we need to do and what this forum is for today is for us to do more with what we know. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we don't know is... Um, well, we know, but a lot of people don't know. Shred your financial information. Mm-hmm. People don't realize that that's important because your identity can be stolen. Right. Another thing is maintain your credit report. You can get a free credit report every year. Mm-hmm. People don't know that. Right. People are not checking into that. They And you can't always believe in finances, dating, parenting, whatever it is, religion. You cannot believe what someone tells you. You, you need to fact research. check. Right. You need to fact check. I heard you, but I'm going to check and see. Right. I'm going to check it and I'm going to verify it and then I can go. 
because you can't just believe you don't know this person you don't know what their accreditation is you don't know the validity of what they're talking about they just talking and you don't and you falling right into it and before you know it you find yourself on a, on a downside of the housing scam right right fact check pay attention find out what you need to do because at the end of the day everybody else is going to be good and you're not going to be good and so what what it comes down to is how long are you going to be uncontented right i'm mm -hmm. unbothered and then the final thing i want to say on that when he was talking about the selfishness it's a fine line i mean you talked about this before it's a yeah. fine line between being a savage and pe treating people the way you want to be treated because okay. the savage say i gotta take care of me i'm gonna be a, a, a i gotta be selfish because they trying to do me wrong everybody is not trying to hurt you right everybody in your life is not coming to you to hit you some people are trying to help you right but if you're being abused all the time your first mentality is to flinch up. and guard and cover up and right. and block and all of that but sometimes you need to be a little receptive so you need to put some things in place so you can try to Look at the people around you and say, "Are they trying to help me? Are they okay. trying to hurt me?" Good I, point I, to that. I got one. I oh. got one more. Well, let, let me say one thing to that though, because like both of y'all spoke on that. That whole uh, thing, as far as uh, we we always are quick to cover up, and you know we're on the defense a lot of times. That's something that you have to say. That's within our environment, within mm -hmm. our community, mm -hmm. because we're already like on the bottom trying to get you know come up you right. know and it's always seems it's like mentality you right when we're trying to come up if i'm that person who can help y'all come up as well i feel threatened so in turn i lose what i have right, by helping you right so in turn if i if Corey gets up you know then the whole time he's going to be more on the defense for the next man because I did it to him. So it was always that recycling. And it goes thing back to the media perpetrating tuck your chain inside because somebody's going to snatch it. Another person's my cell phone. Tucked in. Yeah. I think somebody might get it. <laughs> Another person's <laughs> cell phone was stolen on a train. So I got to, people are crazy out here. They're going right. to take whatever you have. So, but you got to realize somebody helped you to get to where you were. It might be somebody that you deem insignificant or somebody that's minute, but a help is a help no matter how big it is. No uh, a person's a person no matter how small. From Horton, here's a who. All right. <laughs> another, another note to this final financial gain especially in the, <clears throat> in the black community a, a, as bad as this may sound talk to you know, talk to real you gotta you think about it college ain't for everybody mm -mm. that's just another tool in my opinion in my influenced opinion to start you off behind the eight ball mm -hmm. most of these youngers out here you know if you take a uh, uh, hundred kids and send them send them to college let's say Let's say 20 of them got a scholarship, mm -hmm. you know. So there's 80 of them that, that, that had to pay for it. 20 of them went for free. Right. I'm going to just start with the 20. Okay. Out of the 20 that went for free, mm -hmm. 15 of them graduate. Right. Okay. Just because you go to school for free don't mean you graduate. Right. Mm -hmm. You right. understand? Okay. So 15 of them graduate. I'm get back to the 80 in a minute. Right. But the 15 that graduated, luckily for them, they didn't pay to go. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, but eight of them got a job. Okay. So now the other seven just wasted their time. Okay. And now I gotta do something else. Probably ain't gonna get another scholarship. Now right. you ain't fresh out of high school no more. Scholarships just don't come like that. Right. But anyway, that was just a waste of space. Now let's get back to that other 80 that paid for school. Right. Now we all know how much that costs. Right. Out of that 80, what would you say graduated out of that 80? Shit. It'd be a hard. 34%. You say 34%. You say 34%, but I'm gonna say. And just for conversation purposes, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say them sixty half? of them. Oh, I'm gonna give them more than half. half. Okay. I'm gonna say sixty of them graduated. Okay. And out of the sixty of them that graduated, only how many would you say got a job? It's less than half that got a job. Oh, no question. It's but all graduated. of them got student loan debt. All of them got student oh, loan debt. All of them got student loan debt. So when you got time to learn about financial gain, you drowning off the break. You yeah. ain't got a job yet. Right. Right. Don't have no kid in high school. Right. You understand? That's that's real. That's real prevalent in in, in, in our society. You no know, question. A girl having a kid in high school. Right. That's fucking common as hell. Right. You know what I mean? So they're already starting they, off in they, a way where it's like I mean, yeah, you know. And, and to get to the dude, by the time he graduate, you know, well, hopefully this ain't nobody with no dumb petty criminal record or anything like that. But right. all the other obstacles you done had to cross and go through 
before and I ain't even getting into the mental part of it your parents might have did this and went through divorce and this that and the third or whatever the case may be that you had to deal with they keep you busy enough you know what I mean they keep they keep the parents they keep families in the black community right. separated right that's enough confusion right there you remove the father from the family that family's a wrap right you know what I mean it might take a little while depending on the family but that family's done that's just calm proven fact white man figured that out a long time ago Right. And they're still doing it now. Right. You right. know what I mean? We still can't get our hands around it and understand what's going on. Now the women... And hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Because I know where we're about to go. I know where we're about to go. Okay, and right. that we we definitely going to speak on that. Okay. That's going to be another topic. Right. We all... Because right. I know I'll that's a juicy one. Show. A lot of people... i say that for another show. Yeah, a lot of people definitely need but, to hear that story. But before. to sum up that story and to bring it back to this one, uh -huh. the competition amongst one another has to stop. Oh, no question. We're in competition with each other. We're the only damn culture that do that. Right. All these other Asian and nail places you was talking about, these jokers, you going there, all these Exxon gas stations, all these pretty much now about to be McDonald's being ran by Hispanic. Right. They sticking together. They look out for The whatever. difference between their culture and our culture, they are given in the beginning a plan and they're given the tools in the tool right. cabinet to execute that plan. We're not thinking about plans. We're thinking about making it. I got a baby. I got to get my baby to school. Not depositing and not knowing that you are responsible for another person's life. Right. And you need to make them come to 18 being a productive member of society. They need to be able to pay taxes. They need to have no record. They need to do all it because they already stigmatized by having all this melanin in their skin. Mm -hmm. And that's another topic that we can that's talk about topic. later. But because they already behind, you're responsible for somebody for somebody's life. It's not TMZ's job. It's not uh, love and hip hop. It's not World Star's job to raise your child and teach them etiquette and etiquette training. Etiquette, what's that? I just eat with a fork. I just eat with a knife. Mm. There's a way that you talk on the phone. Yeah. There's a way that you present yourself to the world when you're in corporate America. There's a way that you present yourself when you're in a trap. There's a way that you present yourself in different places. And if you don't have that wax on, wax off mentality and you're just one way, then you're limiting yourself right there. Right. I agree. Uh, very true. Very true. I, I, I didn't think about it. I like the way how you summed it up. Wax on, wax off. I would, <laughs> I would have never thought that would have came out, but... You know, nah, I definitely can appreciate it. We, we, we even know. just, in our culture, we look at things totally different. We do. other cultures do. We do. You we know, like, do. we'll laugh. A Spanish dude, house get ran up in, they found it was 19 Spanish dudes living there. We laugh at that. Right. But they say These jokers is just getting it, you hear me? Right. They're saving, and their, 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 their net worth is more than ours. Because right. I right. didn't even, uh, I felt like net worth was something that you learn about if you're rich. Right. I didn't think, little old me, I mean, I got a house and everything, but my net worth? And so then I had to do the facts and figures and the net worth is the things that you have that's on the positive side, the things that are that are worth something valuable, your house, your car, if your car is worth anything, versus the loans that you have. So once you subtract that, then that's what you have. So because I was just only looking at the debt and the fact that, I, that I'm purchasing a house, because I don't consider myself a homeowner until I shred that mortgage. Right. But... Because I'm purchasing the house, I'm looking at that, and then I'm looking at all my debt, so I'm thinking my net worth is in the negative. It's not in the negative, because if I fix up my house and do the repairs, then I get four times what I paid for the house. Mm -hmm. I never thought that. I'm just looking at the debt, but like I said, once you're exposed to different things, then you learn something different and you do something different. Right. Well, let me ask y'all this, because um, one of the biggest things, especially within our community, it's well i mean this is just people in general credit credit is a huge thing right when did y'all find out how severe how serious it was to have credit because well, i'm gonna me, tell you a little story it, it took me a while you know I it was learned. hard work it was hard work to get it get it get it steak sauce a1 you know what i mean but hey i didn't know anything about it but go ahead and i'll give you my my, my i didn't setup. have to work I didn't have to do the whole get my credit thing together. Mm -hmm. I'm five four. Right. Well, five three and a half. But I like to say five four because it sound better on my resume. But I'm five three and a half, and my mother is five eleven. Right. And so she co-signed for my first car, and I'll talk about co-signing later. But she co-signed for my first car, and she said straight out one thousand. She said I'm putting my name on the lease. I mean on the loan. Right. 
And what that what that says is you're not worthy enough to get your own loan. Let's get a sucker to pay for it just in case you default on the loan. So my mother said, I'm not a sucker. But, but what I will do is beat the shit out of you if you mess up my name and my good credit. Well, hold on real quick. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we got a, uh, we got one of our guests, Corey. I'm glad that he was able to make it in here. But, you know, he had other prior engagements. I'm just glad he happened to stop through. That's how I much love I got for you. Appreciate you having me through here, my bro. My man, my man. Well, but like I was saying, we got many more. Thank mm -hmm. you. We got many more. For sure. I'll be All back. Right. I used to cop in the valley. They lob in the alley. I'm on my Vince Carter shit. Trapping in colleges. Me and my partners was balling. You wasn't a part of it. Part of it. My money be talking about money, your money be lying and arguing. My money can buy you a startup kit. Since y'all niggas always wanna start some shit.